This video is sponsored by EA. Hey guys, this is Billy Eat World, and in this video, I want to give you guys some tips on how to shoot bolt action and self loading rifles effectively in Battlefield 5. Now, to kick off, the first thing you'll notice about these guns is that they're by far the best infantry weapons for mid to long range gunfights. The main difference between them, though, is the way they operate, because bolt actions are single-shot weapons and the SLRs are semi-automatic. That means the SLRs fire a lot faster, but as a trade-off, they don't deal quite as much damage as the bolt actions do. For example, most of the SLRs will drop an enemy in two to three shots, but a bolt action does have the potential to kill in one shot if you land a headshot or an upper body shot on a damaged enemy. Landing shots in the first place can be the trickiest thing for new players though, because at longer ranges to land shots and save ammo, you'll need to lead your target and compensate for bullet drop. And that's because Battlefield 5 features a projectile physics system, which tries to simulate how bullets travel in the real world. Bullets don't instantaneously hit the target when you fire, so to hit a moving target, you'll need to aim in front at where the target will be, not where they are when you pull the trigger. And also, at longer ranges, you may need to aim above the target to compensate for the pull of gravity, called bullet drop, which will cause your shot to drop down from where you originally aimed. Now, fortunately, recoil is something that shouldn't bother you as much with these guns, but to hit longer range targets, you may also need to compensate for scope sway. For example, if your scope is moving around randomly and you're finding it hard to keep your aim on target, you can use the hold breath button to steady your weapon for a short period of time. Another important thing to remember is that higher powered optics not only take up more of your screen area when you're aiming down sights, they also create a scope glint that enemy players can see. And so, as a general rule, try to use the lowest magnification scope that works for you, because this will help you acquire targets faster, and in the case of two times sights or less, will completely remove scope glint altogether. Finally, you'll want to remember that each of these weapons has its own strengths and weaknesses, and so you'll want to make sure to pick a weapon that suits the map that you're playing on. For example, the Lee Enfield Bolt Action Rifle is a great sniper rifle choice for long range maps, but the ZH-29 Self-Loading Rifle is a much better choice for mid-range maps. Also, don't forget that in Battlefield 5 you can use specializations to either compensate for or enhance your weapon's natural abilities. For example, you can pick a bayonet if you're expecting to get into close quarters combat, or on the other hand, you can pick a bipod if you want to sit back and need more stability at longer range. But anyway, that just about wraps up this video, so I really hope these tips help you to be more effective with bolt action and self-loading rifles, and I'll see you on the battlefield.